Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. So I am Madumiro of the Kasmi. So for today's video, we're going to learn chapter 6, which is polynomials. Lecture 1 of 5. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of polynomials. Okay, what is polynomials? Poly means many, and nomials means term. Definition of polynomials. A polynomial is a finite sum of terms in which all the variables have whole number exponent and no variable appears in denominator. A polynomial P of degree N is defined as this one. So where N is element of set plus, which is positive integers, consists of 1, 2, 3 and so on. So a0, a1, a2 uh, are called the coefficient of the polynomial. The coefficient of the highest power of x, a n, is the leading coefficient. So here is the leading coefficient. The constant term is a0. So at the back, which has no x in it, is a constant. And the degree of the polynomial is determined by the highest power of x. For this one, n is our degree of polynomial. For example, the table below shows the degree, leading coefficient, constant term, and the name of polynomial. So we will complete the table. So for the first example, we have p equal to negative 7. So what is our degree here? So we know that degree is the highest power of x. So actually we have x to the power of 0 here. So the highest power is 0. So that will be our degree. For leading coefficient, okay, this is a constant term, a constant polynomial. So for leading coefficient, for a constant polynomial, is the constant itself, which is negative 7. So if you take a look at your notebooks, there's a mistake there. So please do the correction. The leading coefficient is negative 7. And the constant, the constant term is negative 7. So for the next one is px equal to 5x minus 6. So the degree here is 1. And the leading coefficient is 5. Uh, the constant term should be negative 6. This is what we call linear polynomial. And the next one, we have 7x squared plus x. So the highest degree here is 2. That will be our degree. And the leading coefficient is 7. And the constant term should be 0. So this is what we call quadratic polynomial. And the last one, 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus x plus 3. Our degree here should be 3 and the leading coefficient is 2. And the constant term is 3. So this is a cubic polynomial. Okay, there's also a non-polynomial expression. If we take a look here, all the example. The first one is not a polynomial because it has fraction as the exponent. So we know that polynomial should be the whole number. Now for the example, it has a variable in the denominator which is not a polynomial as well. And the third one is it has third here. Third refer to the power of 1 over 2. So that is also not a polynomial. Okay, for example, we have monomials, binomials, and trinomial here. So the name monomial refers to polynomial that has only one term. And binomial, for the polynomial that has two terms. And the trinomial refers to the polynomial that has three terms. Okay. Next. We're going to learn the algebraic operation on polynomial, polynomial, addition and subtraction. So addition and the subtraction of 
Px and Qx can be performed by collecting like terms. Okay, we will take a look at example 1. So given here P equal to 5x cubed minus 4 and Q is x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x. Okay, determine P plus Q. So we will write polynomial P first. So 5x cubed minus 4 plus polynomial Q x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4. So what we should do next is collecting like terms. It means that 5x cubed, we will add it up to the x cubed. The same power. So we will have 6x cubed. And then plus 3x squared. Plus, or oh, should be x here. Okay, plus 4x minus 4. So this is our simplest answer. So it's better for us to write from the highest power to the lowest power. Okay, next is P minus Q. We have polynomial P 5x cubed minus 4 minus Q is x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x. So if we have minus operation here, subtraction, you don't forget to put the bracket. Okay, so collecting like terms, 5x cubed minus x cubed. So we'll have 4x cubed. And then negative, positive, we will have negative 3x squared. And a negative, positive, also negative 4x. And then the last one is constant term, minus Four. So this will be our simplest answer. Okay, next kita akan tengok multiplication. So note that every term in one polynomial is multiplied by each term in other polynomial. So example two, we have polynomial p equal to x squared minus one, uh, and q equal to two x cubed minus x squared plus one. Determine for q x. So, we will multiply 4 by the polynomial Q. So, 2x cubed minus x squared plus 1. So, expand the bracket, we will have 4 times 2, 8x cubed. And then, minus 4x squared plus 4. So, this is the answer. And the next example is P times Q. Okay, we have x squared minus 1 times 2x cubed minus x squared plus 1. So, what we have to do here is expand the bracket. So, multiply each term. Okay. Then, When we expand all these, we will have 2x to the power of 5. Okay, why we have 2x to the power of 5? x squared times 2x cubed. So the answer would be 2x5. So back to basic. When you have a to the power of m times a to the power of n, you should have a to the power of m plus n. So that's why we get here 2x power 5. And then minus x to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 2x cubed plus negative, negative so positive x squared and minus 1. So, what we have to do here is collecting like terms. So, we have x square and x square here. So, we need to simplify. So, yang lain ni kita salin semula. 2x5 minus x to the power of 4. And the next one, negative 2x cubed. 
Okay, x square plus x square, we have 2x square. And the last one should be minus 1. So we're already collecting like terms together. And we have arranged the power from the highest power to the lowest power. So this is our final answer. So if, uh, there's a note here, if P is a polynomial of degree M and Q is the polynomial of degree N, then the product P times Q is a polynomial of degree M plus N. So we have here, polynomial P is power 2, degree 2, and polynomial Q is degree 3. So when we multiply these two polynomials, we will have degree 5.